Hello everyone, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Some folks call me the official observer of the human condition, a title I earned after noticing how many hours my neighbor spends perfecting his lawn flamingo display. But that's a tale for another day. And I'm Alara Skye. I have a quick wit, a curious mind, and an uncanny ability to discuss natural health without spontaneously combusting into disclaimers. I'm thrilled you all decided to join us because today we're diving into something that might surprise you, lycopene. Turns out, it's not just that red stuff in tomatoes that stains your Tupperware. In my experience, everything stains Tupperware. Turmeric, beet juice, the occasional meltdown after reading obscure health blogs. But let's not get lost in my personal struggles with plastic containers. Lycopene has bigger claims to fame, doesn't it? It does indeed. We all know lycopene gives tomatoes their signature color. But apparently, it's also a mood champion, an ally for your cardiovascular system, and a friendly neighborhood hero for your digestive tract. Basically, if you see a bright red fruit or veggie, there's a good chance Lycopene's the star performer. We have something that's bright red and capable of saving the day. That's very superhero of it. Next time I watch a Marvel movie, I'll hold out hope for a cameo by a tomato wearing a cape. Don't forget the speech bubble. I fight free radicals, and I fight for your right to a happy brain. Let's start with the happy brain part, because that's the real showstopper. According to research, Lycopene might actually have antidepressant properties. I'll admit, I've never connected depression in tomatoes. Usually, the only time I've looked at a tomato with sadness was when I'd run out of salt. So. How does lycopene help with mood exactly? Scientists used a chronic social defeat stress model in mice. Think of it like the rodents having a really bad day every day until they show signs that resemble depression in humans. Low social interaction, anhedonia, all that fun stuff. Then they gave these stressed mice lycopene. A tomato therapy session. Interesting. Did it work? It did. The lycopene-treated mice not only improved in social behavior, but showed fewer depression-like symptoms overall. Even more fascinating, the research showed lycopene boosted levels of crucial synaptic proteins and improved synaptic plasticity. That basically means the brain's communication networks got a tune-up. So it's as if the mice replaced their outdated phone lines with fiber optics. Everything's more efficient, the signal's clearer, and the mood is decidedly better. That's a pretty impressive transformation for a humble nutrient. Exactly. And they also found lycopene activates something called the BDNF-TRKB pathway in the brain. BDNF or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, is like miracle grow for your neurons. When BDNF and its receptor TRKB team up, your brain's neurons thrive and form new, improved connections. Lycopene apparently nudges this process along, reducing the impact of stress on the brain. So, if I toss more tomatoes into my spaghetti sauce, I can channel that miracle grow effect. Because I've always wanted to sharpen my mental faculties to the point I can defeat my teenage nephew in video games. It might not turn you into an overnight child prodigy, but it's a step in the right direction. And yes, Cooking tomatoes can increase lycopene bioavailability. You'd basically be helping your brain's communication lines stay in top form. Now, let's pull back the lens and look at lycopene's broader protective actions. We're going from the brain to the entire body. This is like a campus tour, but for your cells. Well, lycopene does more than just wave pom-poms for your neurons. According to a 2024 review, it's a potent antioxidant, meaning it's really good at neutralizing free radicals, those reactive oxygen species that run amok and age you faster than binge-watching TV can. You're saying it fights the same destructive forces that cause wrinkles, organ damage, and that peculiar sense of existential dread. Maybe not all of those, but it definitely takes care of the free radical side of things. I'll take it. Indeed. The same review highlights lycopene's anti-cancer effects, pointing out research showing it has action against pancreatic, ovarian, cervical, and liver cancers. In animals, it even helps slow down the progression of ovarian cancer. In humans, it might boost chemotherapy effectiveness for cervical cancer. So, we have a natural compound that says, Cancer, you shall not pass. Impressive. Do I guess that it's got an entire laundry list of other benefits as well? Correct. It helps with digestive issues, protects against peptic ulcers, particularly the kind triggered by alcohol or helicobacter pylori. It essentially forms a protective shield in your stomach. And to go back to the brain for a moment, lycopene has been shown to reduce memory loss, cognitive decline, and neuroinflammation. It's like a Swiss army knife for your health. So if I forget where I put my keys, I should grill some tomatoes. That might not solve my immediate crisis, but perhaps over the long haul, it's helpful. Moving right along, let's also note lycopene's cardiovascular benefits. Studies show it helps reduce markers of inflammation like C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, can help regulate blood pressure, and generally fosters a healthier vascular system. That's a lot for one antioxidant. My only reference for vascular health was going to revolve around whether I can still climb a flight of stairs without needing a snack break. We all measure vascular health differently, I suppose. Lycopene also helps with lung protection, fertility, skin health, vision, and even wards off some environmental toxins. Basically, it's an all-around champion, 
The big picture is that this single nutrient can step in at multiple points to keep you on track. All right, so the next big question. If lycopene is that powerful, what about obesity, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes? I'm sure it's got something to say there, too. It does. Another 2024 review points out that lycopene can help tackle the oxidative stress and inflammation that contribute to metabolic syndrome. That's the trifecta of issues like high blood pressure, insulin resistance, and elevated blood lipids. So basically, we can avoid punching holes in walls by letting lycopene handle some of that internal stress. I can see the commercial now. Stop flipping out, start dipping out with tomato sauce. Yes, it could be a new tagline. Lycopene's not just for the mood, though. It also helps regulate those pro-inflammatory mediators, lowering cytokines like IL-6, IL-1-beta, TNF-alpha. Those are the troublemakers behind chronic inflammation. I'm getting a distinct sense that if your body was a house, these cytokines would be the rowdy teenagers throwing a party in the basement. Lycopene's the responsible adult flicking the lights on and saying, hey, keep it down, folks. That analogy is spot on. Lycopene steps in to maintain order, ensuring your body runs more smoothly. For people concerned about metabolic disorders, adding more lycopene might be an easy, natural measure to incorporate into everyday life. So let's talk specifics. How can we, the average folks who rarely measure our TNF alpha levels at the dinner table, get more lycopene? I want the real scoop. Great question. Number one, make cooked tomatoes a staple. When tomatoes are cooked, their lycopene becomes more bioavailable. So tomato sauces, soups, and stews can pack a bigger punch than just biting into a raw tomato. I can confirm that biting into a raw tomato can also be awkward, especially if you do it in public without a plan. But a warm bowl of tomato soup is a crowd pleaser. Exactly. Number two, snack on watermelon. There's a decent amount of lycopene in watermelon, and who doesn't love a juicy slice in the middle of summer? It's hydrating, sweet, and helps you inch up your lycopene intake. And if I align my watermelon slices just right, they can double as ear covers when the local ice cream truck jingle is played for the thousandth time. Multi-purpose snack. You found the elusive secondary use of watermelon. Moving on, variety is key. Guavas, pink grapefruit, and papayas also boast a healthy dose of lycopene. Red bell peppers, too. No need to rely on tomatoes alone. Now that's something I can do. Adding some red peppers to my omelet, maybe a side of papaya for breakfast, and I'm practically radiating with nutritious brilliance. Here's one more tip. Pair lycopene with healthy fats. Since lycopene's fat-soluble, you absorb it more efficiently when it's paired with something like grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow. Butter on my tomato sauce, you say? That's practically an invitation to culinary delight. Consider me on board. And those are the basics. Mix up your lycopene sources, cook them for better absorption, and add some healthy fats. Over time, those small changes can translate into big health perks. So if I'm hearing this right, lycopene is a natural mood booster, a potential ally in warding off multiple cancers, a friend to my cardiovascular system, an anti-inflammatory sidekick, and a champion for my digestive and metabolic health. All that from the humble tomato family? It's almost like nature wanted to highlight the useful parts in bright red so we wouldn't miss it. The more we learn, the more we realize this little pigment has wide-reaching benefits. From a comedic perspective, I love it. From a health standpoint, I love it even more. Who knew that the thing rolling around in the bottom of the crisper drawer could hold such power? We all have that leftover tomato that ends up as a shriveled shell of its former glory. But with some intentional shopping and cooking, we can harness lycopene's potential before our produce crosses over into the realm of science experiments. Now, I have a question. If I ask for extra tomato sauce on my pizza, does that count as an official health measure? Or do I have to hand in my health club membership card if I mention pizza in the same sentence as good for you? I suppose the pizza question is trick KY because there might be competing ingredients. Let's just say the sauce is helpful, but the rest of the toppings might offset the benefits. Don't let the pepperoni overshadow the lycopene. Got it. Everything in moderation, including moderation. Let's do a quick recap for those who might have joined late or dozed off thinking about pizzas and watermelons. Lycopene can help lift mood by reversing stress-related damage in the brain, boosting important synaptic proteins, and enhancing synaptic plasticity. It supports the BDNF-TRKB pathway, your brain's self-care system, effectively improving resilience against chronic stress. Beyond mood, Lycopene's an antioxidant powerhouse that protects against oxidative stress, which is connected to conditions ranging from cancer to heart disease. Then we've got beneficial effects in preventing some forms of cancer, pancreatic, ovarian, cervical, liver. And let's not forget its protective role against digestive issues like peptic ulcers and H. pylori infections. It also helps preserve cognitive function by combating age-related neuroinflammation and memory decline. And it guards your cardiovascular system by lowering inflammation, supporting healthy blood pressure, and helping preserve vascular health. 
Meanwhile, if your concern is metabolic syndrome, lycopene's your friend there too, as it manages oxidative stress and inflammation that often trigger obesity and type 2 diabetes. To get the most out of it, whip up cooked tomato-based dishes, snack on watermelon, and occasionally enjoy guavas, pink grapefruit, papayas, and red bell peppers. And remember, pairing lycopene with a healthy fat makes it even more bioavailable. What an incredible nutritional chat. I feel like we've just done a thorough inspection of a top secret lab. Behind these doors, you'll find lycopene, our stealthy multi-mission agent. Exactly. It's science doing what it does best, showing us that the everyday foods we take for granted can be potent allies. The more we understand, the more we can strategically incorporate them into our lives. I think I speak for both of us when I say, I'll never look at a tomato the same way again. It's not just a sandwich topping or a side garnish. It's practically an entire wellness department in a thin red skin. And that's the message we want everyone to take away. The simplest steps, like choosing to make a homemade tomato sauce or snacking on watermelon, can add up to meaningful health benefits over time. And with that, folks, we have come to the end of this edition of Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, reminding you that sometimes the best solutions are hidden in plain sight or in bright red. And I'm Alara Skye, encouraging you to embrace this knowledge. Lycopene is a stellar example of how nature's vibrant pigments can double as guardians of your well-being. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to exploring more cellular insights with you next time. Stay curious, stay healthy, and if possible, stay open to the wonders hiding in your produce aisle. Until next time, everyone, keep feeding your mind, body, and sense of humor. You might just find that the smallest nutrients can bring the biggest smiles. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.